Good morning all. Uh, didn't make a video yesterday because uh, really sore headache. That's why I'm wearing these UV glasses this morning. Uh, I'll wear them in work. Boss doesn't really matter. He's pretty good that way. Um, it was my blood pressure. Um, I actually checked my blood pressure last night and it was sort of like 146 over 80. So the bottom reading was spot on but the top one wasn't. I uh, checked my blood pressure when I woke up this morning. It was like uh, 136 over 90. So it's not too bad, but I need to bring it down. I haven't been exercising as much lately. But today's video, I'll just get to the point, is uh, life expectancy after getting a stent. Um, I would say a lot of you watching here have probably had a stent. Um, if you're interested in my channel, you've probably had a heart attack. You've ever, you've ever had a bypass or the stent. Um, I know a lot of you have read on Facebook have had a stent. Some of you have had three or four. But uh, life expectancy after getting a stent. Um, I know I was on Google all the time. Uh, because you sort of hear that stents only last so long. Um, from what I've read, you know. There's people out there that have actually had a stent about 30 odd years plus, you know. Um, a guy left me a comment on Facebook, he had had a stent for 20 years. Um, I've had my stent for 13. And I, I got the drug eluding stent, so it's different. I know there's people that have had a stent for 30 years and they've had the burr metal stent. The difference is one's coated with a, a drug and the other one is just uh, the burr sort of metal. They show you the stent in like a wee box with glass over it before you get a stent and it's like a wee copper thing and then it's hollow in the middle just for to, uh, to let the blood flow through you know. But anyway the disclaimer first is I'm not a doctor Um, I wish I was a doctor. Um, I turn around and say doctors don't have plenty of money. Well anytime I go to them with sur surgery they have a, a new car. Not that I'm jealous. I am really but you know what can I say. Um, anyway I googled and uh, probably like you maybe googled this and uh, you know they say in the first year uh, after getting a stent that sort of one in four people would sort of 25% risk of uh, dying but don't let that scare you you know because when I was in the ward I was 53 at the time and compared to the people in the ward I was only a schoolboy, you know because um, most of the ones that had had a heart attack were sort of old people uh, it's a bit like COVID really, you know, they're telling you the COVID deaths are such and such. Now, I live in Belfast and Belfast Live give a total breakdown of COVID. Uh, out of the 2,000 and whatever people that have died, only four people under the age of 40 have died of COVID. And they were with underlying conditions. So, you know, you can't, you can't really go by stats. You know, if you're going by 25% of people die the first year after a heart attack or after getting a stent you know it's not true figures you know there's a lot of these people are really old and they've had a heart attack and perhaps they would have died of old age anyway and i'm not getting at old people because i'm coming 67 myself so another 10 years i'll be approaching 80 you know but don't go by figures go by yourself and looking after yourself you know after you get the stent uh, you'll be given plavax and aspirin make sure you take them you know, you may not believe this, but some people actually don't take the medicine after they get it. Uh, you then get um, an invite to go to the hospital for cardio rehab. Go! Don't sit in the house. Go! Get yourself fit again. One of the main reasons why you probably had a heart attack was because you weren't fit. Probably because you were obese. And there's me now 13 years later. Not that. The belly and that. You know, I haven't followed the advice. But I'm going to start again once the weather gets a wee bit better. I'm going to start cycling and uh, walking again. I'm, I'll think, if you've watched any of my other videos, I'm going to try and lose a wee bit of weight. So we'll see how that goes. But life expectancy after a stent, you know, you might think, uh, I've read as well, people turn around and say, oh yeah, you need a stent changed after five years. No, you don't. You know, you really don't. You know, I mean, I've had my stent for 13 years and, you know, it's still... I'm still going strong, you know. If I had the money now, and this is a fact, if I had the money, I would actually have the uh, angioplasty uh, done every 10 years or so 
Now, I read, I think it was about three years ago, Graeme Soonis, the footballer, he had a heart attack and he had a stent. And I think Graham, there's some clinic he goes to, but uh, he uh, went to the clinic and they did a test on him and he actually did need another stent, which he got. Now, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? You know, if we had sort of doctors where every sort of five years you were sent to a clinic and you had that angioplasty done and you were tested. It would be marvellous, absolutely marvellous. But I, I read another uh, research that was done in America and they said that getting a stent doesn't really affect your life uh, expectancy at all. Now there's different views but I go by the positive views and I go by the fact that I'm 13 years with my stent. Um, I had a guy left a comment, uh, he has gone 20 years with his stent. Uh, there's a forum, if you actually text uh, what is my life expectancy after a stand and go down, you know, there's a forum where people have all posted and they've all given, you know, how long they have gone with a stand. And I think the longest was like 30 to 40 years plus, you know, so there was one guy in his 40s got a stand and he's still in his 80s. Now, that'll be me, you know, because if that works for me, I got my stand at 53, so I'll reach 93 and... 93, I'm quite happy to say, bye-bye, folks. I'm off to the big boy in the sky, you know. I'll have had a nice full life at 93. I would have had nearly 50 more. I don't even call them years, right? I call them football seasons because I'm such a big football fan. So I would have seen 50 more football seasons than my dad. Can you beat that? Of course you can't, you know. But... Uh, what is your life expectancy after a stent? If you've just had a stent and you're home or you're in hospital and you're really worried about it and you're thinking, oh, am I going to live to see my kids grow up? You know, this. I, I'm reading that, you know, you need a stent renewed after five years and I'm reading that you have a 25% chance of dying in the first year and so on. Take into account the fact that all these old people, you know, they're in the statistics too. Statistics, you know, you can make the stats, they appear to give you any result you know so forget them you know you concentrate on getting your health back get yourself fit get your blood pressure down uh, which you can do by uh, making sure you're uh, hydrated all the time who's a bit of the old weight weight i've told you before about weight but i'm going to do another video on that because i didn't think the other one was that great i'm very critical of my videos but uh, no lose some of that weight and uh, you know look after the pressure that's on your stent you know, and on your other arteries, you know, and uh, if you're just home from hospital, get yourself into the rehab. Rehab's brilliant. You make friends and you get yourself fit and it's fantastic. And not only that, not, it's not only about the fitness, it's people telling you, you see their stories and their positive stories. And that's what you want to be after a heart attack. You don't want to be all down. You want to be upbeat and positive and, you know, thinking, hang on a wee minute. This isn't too bad. I'm hearing about people that have had a stand in their living 20 years. You know, I will get to see my kids grow up. You know, I, I will live to a good age. And trust me, you know, from my opinion now, you will, if you follow all the, the rules and so on, you will live to a good old age with having a stand. What is my life expectancy after a stand? I can't tell you. But I can't tell you that I'm going 13 years and I'm hoping to go 20 years. You know, I could have died at 53. I'm now coming 70. Oh, that's a bonus. You know, even that, that's a bonus. My life was saved that night with a stent. So, what is my life expectancy after a stent? A lot more than I thought, my friends. A lot more than I thought. Anyway, I am off to work. Uh, I finished at half 12 today though. Happy days. And then it's a long weekend. Uh, and the CFA Cup this weekend as well. If you Americans don't know what the FA Cup is, uh, it's sort of like your semi-finals or whatever of the Super Bowl. It's just a the big massive cup that you win over here in England for your football team. Um, I don't get excited much. I really don't. And I mean, that's a good thing with my heart, you know. But uh, my next video will be uh, how to use the cuff in a blood pressure machine. A lot of people think it's just a matter of oh, stick the cuff on blah. It's not. There, there's certain ways to do it, and there, you know there's certain times to do it. 
and you know once it's high there's 10 methods to bring your blood pressure down I will do another video on the 10 methods for bringing your blood pressure down and I'll do that over the weekend but please um, first thank you for the Facebook groups that allow me to post my video and for the people that comment love you folks really do and uh, if you have a YouTube uh, what do you call it membership please subscribe to my channel uh, give me a wee bit of encouragement and I need all the encouragement I get to keep going so I do and uh, you know feel free to subscribe feel free to like my channel or leave me a comment you know um, Ian left me a comment last night thanks very much Ian I appreciate it and I hope you're keeping well and have a great weekend my friend uh, anyway I'm off to work uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow okay thank you very much you take care and do not worry about your life expectancy after a stent. You hang in there. I did. Take care.